Hello YouTubers, it's your boy Curtis G again. Man, these videos will keep going. Now if you guys ever have any requests on, you know, maybe what videos I should post up on YouTube, just, you know, write it down in the comment section. Hashtagging Symbiote Addiction 22. Repeat. Hashtag Symbiote Addiction 22. And yeah, you guys just post in the comment section what videos you would like for me to do, and I will reply and also make that video. And I will also give a big shout out to the person who requested it. So, today. I am going to do something totally different. As you can see right now, I'm not in my Spider-Man suit because obviously I was exhausted from doing the pull-ups workout that I was doing in my other video. As you well know, I was using my black red symbiote Spider-Man suit. It is exhausting to wear that suit. But, you know, I made it. I got a good um, good old glass of water so I'm all good but yes today I want to show you my inventory my collection everything that I have that I would like to show you guys so um, without any further ado let's get to it We'll go ahead and just bring the camera on over this way. If you just follow me, I will show you guys to this section right here. Oh. I can turn the picture the other way. Can I do that? All right. Um, so I'm not too sure if you guys can see, um, if you guys can give me one minute, I will be right back, okay? Give me one minute, I'll be right back. <coughs> Alrighty. Alright guys, hey, I'm back. Alright, so, as you well know... I do collect wrestlers. Um, you know, not just any type of wrestlers, but also, you know, wrestlers from back in the Attitude Era, superstars right now, superstars during the Ruthless Aggression Era, superstars during the WCW Era and time. Superstars during the TNA, you know, back when NWO was popular, those type of things. So, um, right now I am going to show you guys exactly the wrestlers that I have collected as of now. So, as you can see right here. This is obviously the monster Abyss from TNA Wrestling. Um, he's one of my favorites, actually. All time favorites. Um, not really much to say about him. I mean, the mask is nice, I like it. Um, he's really different than most of the wrestlers that I have because, I mean, if you can see, he looks well buffed. Um, 
you know, he's able to move his arm well. Fingers are perfect. Boots are nice. You can also move the little part right here, the boot, the tip, the tip part of the boot. You can move that as well. Um, this is one of the things that I would actually would have liked to see if it could happen, and it would be Abyss, of course, during his time in TNA when he wore this mask against Kane in his Attitude Era time. That, I think, would have been the greatest match of all time. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that, too. I'm sure there's other people out there who would agree with me as well and say that, yes, that match could have been one of the greatest matches that people would love, would have loved to see. So, yes, there is Abyss. Here we have the one and only Christian. Yes, this Christian is from 2000, I believe. When he was, of course, with Edge during the time. Um, he's one of my other favorites as well. I mean, not really much to say about him. I mean, of course, their favorite motto, Reek of Awesomeness. Always posing. Love him. Next, it's me, it's me, it's DDP. Bang! Now, this Diamond Dallas page is from, of course, from 2001 during the Alliance Invasion era with the More Wrestling Federation, ECW, and WCW time. I really like it a lot. I mean, like I said, these are just collecting. These are just collectors. I don't really use them much for anything else. So just a nice little, uh, um, just another nice little wrestler to add to the collection. Really like him a lot. He's actually one of my favorites, and I like his finisher too, the um, diamond cutter. One of my favorite moves. I mean, you compare that to the um, RKO that Randy Orton uses. It's just about the same thing. So, yep, there's that. Here we have the rated R superstar, Edge. Um, of course, you, as you can see on the shirt, it says rated R KO. The, this was during 2005, to be exact, I want to say. 2005. Well, yeah, about 2005, 2006, around that time, possibly. I don't, I'm not trying to be exact, but I want to say it might be about, eh, about there. If not there, then released around 2003, 2004-ish, something like that. I don't know, but yeah. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's a stain on his shirt too. Um, so I'm not really too worried about it. One of my favorites as well, the Rated R Superstar, the Ultimate Opportunist, the best wrestler that I would have loved to see if I was to go to WWE as a fan and watch it. I would have loved to see Edge and get an autograph from him. Now... Y'all need to stand back because there's a hurricane coming through. Yes, here is the hurricane. Um, I love the cape, the suit. It's all nice. Just wish his face didn't look like that. If you can see up close, how his face looks. He looks like he's confused or surprised about something. I don't know, but um, yeah, I like. I really do like it a lot. Um, I just wish they had the one where he had the long hair when he came back to WWE around like 2010, I believe. I think that's when he joined ECW at the time. 
So I think that would have been nice if they would have had that. But it's all good. It's still the same thing. So not really all too worried about it. But yes, here is the hurricane. Next is one of my favorite wrestlers. Or at least one part of my favorite tag team in wrestling history. And that is the charismatic enigma. The high flying Jeff Hardy. Yes. Um, I really like the hair. I like how they did the jeans. It really does give it that. Oh, what's the word? It just gives everything you need to make it look like the real Jeff Hardy. Now, um, this outfit is where is what he wore in 1999, I believe, when he was, of course, with Matt Hardy during the. Now, I think this was either after or before. It might have been after. They broke up with um, Gangrel when they where they um, formed that new team, the New Brood. I think that's when they when he wore this outfit. Um, I do not have the poster of it, but I'm hoping to get one soon of him and Matt Hardy wearing something like this. So yes, there's that. But that's not all. Because now we have Jeff Hardy in New Brute form. Where he's wearing the red and black shirt with the jeans. Now I really love the color of the shirt. It really does go well with the jeans. And makes it a perfectly good outfit to wear. Now um, I really like the Hardy Boys during this time where they joined the New Brood because they were more aggressive. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, yes, I really liked when they wore this during the New Brood time. They were more aggressive. They they were doing a lot more high flying than um you would normally see them do. But um, I really like the entrance too as well when they formed the new brood where they had the flames coming up. Where is him, Matt Hardy, and Gangrel coming up from the little flame circles? I think that was pretty cool. I really liked it a lot. And yes, I am hoping to get one of Jeff Hardy's armbands soon. Maybe, maybe for my birthday possibly. Like I said, I'm a real, I'm a um extremely, truly die-hearted Hardy Boys fan, and I've watched them since I was growing up. Watching wrestling, I really liked them. They were my favorite tag team of all. So yes, I'm hoping to get that soon. Next up is Word Life John Cena during 2003. Ruthless Aggression Era. This was a year after he made his debut, of course, fighting against Kurt Angle. I'm sure all of you guys remember that if you guys watch wrestling a lot. Um, of course, him wearing the number 54. I do not have the necklace. I do not have the snapback. I do happen to have his United States Championship belt that he wore. Um, that I will show you guys here in a, a um, little while. So yes, there's that. Um, I really like John Cena during this time. More aggression. Um, I don't know. He had that face slash shield type, to whereas now he has to be just face because of the because of the fact that. You have fans out there who support him and look up to him a lot. You don't really want that type of person to be trying to look up to that heel type person. You can't have that. So that's why I liked him during that time, around 2003, where he had the face and heel choice. So yeah, there's that. 
of course you can see his neck his um sorry <coughs> oh excuse me I need to get some water here in a minute but yes um if you can see real closely I don't know if you guys can see that it says word life so yeah there's that Now next is one of my all-time favorite wrestlers, and I've watched him during the Attitude Era time. Of course, Raw is War, and of course, his name is Kane. Now this was one of the badass suits that I loved to see him wear during the Attitude Era time because it was nice. I love the jagged edges. That's on his suit. Flaming, of course. Red and black. I love the mask. And, of course, during that time he had here. So, it was just the mask, of course. Um, like I said, I really love the suit. I like how they have the little nets going across his, um, over his jeans, overalls. And of course you got the spike jagged edges right here too. I don't know why they have the knee pads. It was just how it was when I got it. Um, as you can see on the back too as well. The jagged edges on the back. And of course, yes, the mask comes off as well as the hair. So there you go. Here's the hair. And of course the man behind the mask is Kane himself. As you can see. Um, if you really want something like this, I would definitely recommend eBay. They have most throwback retro suits, wrestling wrestling superstars back in the day. Um, most of them are probably high priced. I got mine for a little bit cheaper. So I would definitely recommend that. If not, then Amazon. I don't know if they have some of them, but definitely recommend that. Okay, next is of course the same person, but this was during 2003 time. And yes, it is still King. Half mask. Overall sh straps. Here's one of the other suits that I really loved the most as well. Um, now, of course, this one, I don't have the chains. I don't have the towel because it didn't come with it. Although, when you go to buy the actual figure, the chains and the towel comes with it. But it's more expensive because, of course, there's more accessories to come with it. But um, it's all good. Not really too, all too worried about it. So yes, here is 2003 half mast cane, and yes, the mask comes off so you can see the sadistic, chaotic monster that lurks behind the mask, cane. And it's almost as the one that you saw on the other cane. So yes, and you can see the back as well. Same thing. Sorry about that. Um, you got the arm pads. You got the pants, jeans, all of it. And then the mask as well comes back. So yep, there's that. It's one of my this is also one of my other favorite King costumes as well. Um I've actually been looking and trying to see if they have it, but they don't. I wanted to get the other ones, but they obviously don't have that either. So I'm like, man, I'm gonna have to find somewhere that I can get it. Um I'm at the I'm at the definitely keep thinking about that because I definitely want one of his costumes. So yeah, there's that. Next I have Big Sexy Big Daddy Kevin Nash. Of course I have him wearing the New World Order NWO Wolfpack shirt. As you can see under it is the original black and white NWO shirt. 
um, of course WCW time I actually liked the NWO when it was popular back in WCW Monday Nitro um never really watched it a lot never really watched WCW I don't know why I don't and I don't know why I have it um I don't know it's just one of those things that I just never took the time to watch never really knew if it was on TV most of the time it was WWE WWF on you know UPN um USA those types of channels so yes there's this one this this Kevin Nash Next I have the Olympic gold medalist, which I don't have the gold medals at all because it didn't come with it. Here is Kurt Angle. So yes, you can see the shirt. It says American by birth with the um, American Eagle with the U.S. flag on it. And of course you got the... Um, the shorts, the blue and white stars. You have the Olympic knee pads, the blue shoes. And on the back it says angry. If you can see it says angry by choice. <clears throat> now I don't know when he wore this at all. I really don't. Um. Anyways, he's one of my favorites. And as you guys well know now. If you guys have been watching wrestling now, he is officially the general manager of Monday Night Raw, according to Vince McMahon, because he assigned him general manager. So, um, nowadays I haven't really watched Monday Night Raw, but I do try to get myself caught up on it when I get the chance. I usually have to work nowadays, so I don't really get the chance to watch it. So, um... Nowadays, I just try to look at, look some up on YouTube and then just try to get myself caught up knowing what's going on. That type of thing. But yeah, there's Kurt Angle. Oh yeah, by the way, it's true. It is damn true. And I apologize for the language, but I had to do that. Next, we have. Let's speak this over a little bit. There we go. Next up, we have Matt Hardy. Now, this was during 2001. He wore this when he fought his brother Jeff Hardy, um, because of some argument type thing. I don't know. Um. Anyways, yes, this is what he wore during the time. The blue and black. And of course, with the jeans, with the excellent detail on it. Now, with the other Jeff Hardy that I showed you guys with the new brood on it, it didn't have the um, stitches, the white stitches on it, on the black pants. But it's all good. I'm not really too worried about it. I don't think the other one that I have has it either, so it's all good. So, I really like the long hair though too. It's nice. It's just the face doesn't really look like my Hardy, but it's all good. Who cares? You know, the people who made it really tried their hardest to make them look like it. They really did it 24 by scale. So, it's all good. Um, they really did a good job of making these. They really did. It makes them look just like them. Um, as you guys well know now, it is 4.46 in the morning. I don't know why I'm even up doing this. But I did want to do two videos in one day. So um, I'm doing a good job of doing that. And I'm trying to make sure that I get all this done within the time that I have. Because, of course, I have to work later on. But I don't have to work till like 6 at night. So I'm all good. I have plenty of time. But I just want to make sure I get some sleep. So try to get this done as soon as possible. So, next, 
is Met Hardy from the New Brood. As you can see, he is also wearing the red and black with the black pants, which I think is a really nice touch. Now, I don't know why they don't have the stitches on the side pants, like the side pockets. They have them on the belt, obviously. Um, that's all good. I'm not really all too worried about it. I really like the details on him. Um, makes him look just like him, to be honest. Um, these are the wrestlers that I will not be selling at all. These are all just collectors, so I'm just going to keep them. So, they're not up for sale at all. They're not up for sale. So, just wanted to let you guys know. Not for sale. At all. And once again, Matt and Jeff Hardy are my favorite wrestlers. Favorite tag team. Always. And I'm hoping that I can meet them soon. You know, once I get all my money together and I'm able to, you know, get my own place. Um, one of those days I'm going to end up going online, checking out the tickets and where they're going to have the um, show put up at. And I could just go up there. Hopefully I can get a backstage pass. I can go back and talk to them. Um, maybe I can get an autograph for them too. Maybe get a shirt. Because that by people would be marvelous and nothing makes me more happier than make having them delete them delete delete obsolete them out of existence Next, I have the Legend Killer, the Apex Predator, the Viper, and another member of Rated RKO, Randy Orton. Um, of course, former WWE Champion, World Champion, Intercontinental Champion, World Tag Team Champions with, of course, Edge when they formed Rated RKO. They've dominated against the Hardy Boys. They dominated against D-Generation X. But, of course, D-Generation X got their revenge and got them back at New Year's Revolution. At 2006, I believe. <laughs> but, yes, here is the shirt, obviously. Um, now, the shirt didn't come with him, nor did it come with Edge either. Um, Randy Orton didn't really come with a shirt at all. It was just him with his underwear. Um, I actually bought this shirt off of eBay. Now, there is one person that you can actually get a plain shirt from and, you know, grab an image off of Google Images and, you know, save it, copy and paste it on eBay to the same person. Um, and he can make the shirt for you. And you can just use it on one of your wrestlers. I thought it'd make a good addition to add to Randy Orton because of course he was a member of it. Now I do have one shirt of Evolution but I do not have Batista nor do I have Ric Flair. I just have Triple H and of course Randy. So I only have one shirt of that so it doesn't really make a difference to have it. You know? So it's all good. But yes. The Legend Killer. And watch out because he could be slithering up behind you getting ready for an RKO. Just playing. Next is, of course, Rey Mysterio. Um, of course, him wearing the blue. Of course, you see the letter 6-1. Whoa, that was close. Of course, you see the letter 619. And I'm sure all of you guys know where that comes from. It comes from his, I think it's his address. Something like that. Um, of course, him being from San Diego, California, that was his address, 619. So that's where he got that from. And, of course, his finisher maneuver. 
so yes and it is a removable mask as well so here you go baby blue color with gold and red so you can see that and this is one of my other favorites um of course Rey Mysterio being the youngest not the youngest being the little man to win both WWE and World Heavyweight Champion but only holding the WWE Championship for like a little bit and then losing it to John Cena the next time the next day and of course that time was when they had John Cena and CM Punk with the WWE Championships where they put them together and had one undisputed WWE Champion. So, Rey Mysterio was involved in that match and he did win the WWE title, but he ended up losing it, like I said, against John Cena. And him having to face CM Punk for the belt. So, there's this Rey Mysterio. Boyaka Boyaka 619 And here we have another Rey Mysterio but of course this one being a little bit shorter and a lot more skinnier As you can see it has really good detail on not only the shirt and the jeans but the tattoos as well if you can see them really did a great job at designing the tattoos that Rey Mysterio actually does have um, and of course his mask is removable at least this one is so here you go there's that looks just like him so yeah there's that Rey Mysterio and black red and gold or if you wanted to say it's yellow you go with that um there's that put the mask back on right quick I'm sure nobody wants to see his face just kidding I'm just kidding again being so mean today And of course, the next one is if you can smell what the rock, meaning the greatest performer to step foot in the WWE ring and being able to entertain everybody and electrifying them. He is one of the greatest people to step foot on a mic and literally say really great things that people actually either wouldn't even come up with at all or just something catchy that people would not ever forget at all. So um, if you guys ever want to catch some of his great quotes, catch some of his funny moments, Please check them out on YouTube. They are hilarious. And most of them are from when he was wrestling, of course. Either just wrestling, backstage, or like just backstage talking to somebody, backstage interviewing with someone. So, I mean, he's had his moments with some of the best people in the business. Such as, of course, Jonathan Coachman. I'm sure you guys seen that little feud going on during like it was like 2000 uh 2003 2003 2004 around that time um of course him and Stone Cold Steve Austin that was a rivalry that people enjoyed watching gotta love it um yes so there's that you have the Rock and of course um who else was it Edge where it was him and um The Rock had to team up and go up against Crispin Juan Eddie Guerrero 
leading up to SummerSlam where Brock Lesnar would face The Rock for the WWE Undisputed title. So yes, here he is, The Rock. Now, he doesn't really look, he doesn't really look all too like him. The one I've had when I was a child, yes. I don't know what happened to him, I don't know where it is. But that one actually looked like him. Whereas this one, eh, not, not all too, doesn't look all too like him. But, yeah, they've done their, they did their best. So, that's all I can give him, Mr. Props. He has his little, um, gym pants. He has his Just Bring It shirt with the rock on the back with the Brahma Bull on it. And, of course, you cannot go any better than the right one. No one can. Next up, we have Scott Hall, or if you want to just say Razor Ramon, Razor Ramon, Razor Ramon. Of course, the only one who was one of the baddest, wouldn't say the meanest, but you know, just one of those guys. Ugh. You couldn't really resist to watch. He was one of those guys. I mean, what can you say? Him in his first ladder match against Shawn Michaels for the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental title? That was a match. Right there. That's where Shawn Michaels defined a ladder match. Now, I do have him wearing his the... um. NWO Wolfpack shirt. I don't really think he was a member of the Wolfpack during the um, WCW times, but I do have him wearing, of course, the black and white NWO that he had during, of course, not only WCW, but, of course, during the Alliance. Scott Hall, Kevin Nash was there, X Pac was there. Yes, during the 2002 era. So yes, I do have him wearing the Wolfpack shirt. Um, like I said, I don't know if he was a member of it. I don't really think he was. But if he was, then yeah, there you go. So yes, Razor Ramon Skaha. New World Order. And you know... You can't have a collection without the showstopper, Mr. WrestleMania, and a member of D-Generation X, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. You gotta have him. You just gotta have him. I know it's hard to it's hard to say. It's not hard to get, but you got to get Shawn Michaels. You just have to, no matter what he looks like. Whether he looks like this, whether he has either one foot, two foot, one arm, two arms, no head, one head, two heads, one shirt, two shirts, three shirts, no shirts. It doesn't matter. You gotta have Shawn Michaels. You just have to. So yes, DX, green and black, all day. Now he does come with a um baseball cap. I do not have it right now. I do not know where it is. But yes, it does come with that as well. So yeah, there's Shawn Michaels. He thinks he's cute. He knows he's sexy. I shouldn't have said that. But it's okay. It's part of the theme song. Now, if you want to really talk, talk about theme songs, you need to check out Kurt Angle's. He's just a sexy Kurt. You need to check that one out. That one was a hit. And I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but during the Hall of Fame of 2017, he actually performed that theme song in front of everyone.
So definitely watch it if you get the chance. Now, if you know you have Shawn Michaels, you need to get this guy too because it's just a must. You need to have the icon, the man they call Steam. Now, yes, I do have him wearing the NWO shirt. And yes, he was a member of the NWO during 1999, I believe. WCW. Monday Nitro. He wore that. Um, I'm not sure if you guys seen him, but of course there was an imposter sting as well. Looked just like him. But yeah, there's that. Um, of course him wearing his overalls, Scorpion. Um, he did not come with the jacket at all. But it's all good, I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, you gotta have Sting too as well. If you can't have one... Or if you don't have one, you need to get one. Or if you like, get two. Two different ones. And I'm not talking about this one. Uh-uh. No, 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 my friend. No. I'm talking about this one. Wolfpack Sting. You gotta have both if you don't have one. If you don't have one, you get both. If you don't have both, then just get one. Wolfpack Sting, of course, wearing his NWO Wolfpack shirt. And NWO Wolfpack. Red and black. Yes, sir. Red and black. So, yes, two. Two Stings. Two different Stings. You gotta get one or get both. Get that Now you know your collection is not the greatest if you do not have the toughest SOB in the WWE. The stone not stone the rattlesnake stone cold steve austin you gotta have him too and yes he is wearing his wwe smoking skull championship that he has made himself and has recently called the royal sleep federation championship back in 1990 something during his feud with the rock now um there was a time where he had knocked Stone Cold Steve Austin into the um, lake, so he had threw he had um, thrown this title with it as well. well. Actually, no, no, he didn't. I don't think he threw the title. He might have. I think he did throw that title in there. But there was a time where The Rock actually did have the title with them as well. So, yes, you got to have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Otherwise, your collection will not be the greatest without the toughest SOB. Gotta have them. Just got to. Drink beer. Live life. Forget fear. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin 316. And yes, I had to get this guy because if you have a bis, you got to have somebody else from TNA. You just have to. And of course, that guy being Suicide. Yes, Suicide from TNA. You just have to have him. Now, um, I think him and some other guys are pretty rare to get. It's, um, you can't really find him a lot of places. You probably just find him on eBay, maybe. But um, like I said, these guys are pretty rare, so you gotta make sure that you're able to get them quickly while they're out. 
selling because if you don't you will miss out and you will not get your chance you have to find some other um, website to go on and get them so yes the red and blue suicide of course being TNA world champion um I don't know if he was X division champion he might have been haven't really looked too far into it but I know he was world champion possibly so yes manic suicide gotta have it. now if you get Shawn Michaels you are on the right track but if you just have Shawn Michaels you need to get this guy too because he is another part of it the game the cerebral assassin the king of kings Triple H and yes the shirt did not come with them at all um he is wearing another shirt under this um oh, excuse me now of course this was during the federation time um I want to say maybe like 2001 possibly around 2001 at the time so yes there's that just plain on the back and of course Degeneration X on the front all black it's time to play the game are you ready you're not of course you're not you never are I'm ready to play the game because I'm the one making the video duh Now, in your collection, you have to have some darkness in there somewhere. You just have to. And what darkness couldn't you have without the phenom, The Undertaker? During 1999, this is exactly what he wore. All the details are perfectly just like it was. During the time, he has his jacket, he has the gloves, the tattoos, which are phenomenal. I like how they made him. If you can see him, can't really align. I'm trying to line them right so you guys can see see him actually. Um, I'm actually going to take the jacket off here in a minute so you guys can see the whole suit behind it. But I might not take off the whole jacket, but I'll at least let you guys see the suit itself. So yeah. So there you guys go. Exactly what the suit looks like under it so there you go there's that of course you have to have some darkness somewhere if you have just Kane you need to get Undertaker 2 you can't have one you gotta have both and if you only got one Kane and one Undertaker you're good but me I have two because there's two personal ones that I like but I like three of them and that being the other retro throwback the black and red not the original but the one switched up. I like that one. That one was nice. I like that one. I gotta see if they have that in stores, but if they do, some of them are probably ugly. Don't really like them that much. At least the ones that they make. Not really all that great. But yeah, this is the Phenom, the legend who had retired from fighting Roman Reigns. 21 and 1. I guess Brock Lesnar. 21 fallen and he's the next and of course last lastly but not least the last member of the NWO during 2002 and I don't know why I have him wearing the um NWO Wolfpack shirt at all. I don't know why I have him wearing it, but it's all good. I'm not too worried about it. So under that, he is wearing his NWO shirt, the white and black. Yes, 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 yes. And not really much to say about him. I mean, he wasn't really. He didn't really come with the shirt at all. It was just the pants. And I think this one was during the um 
might have been during the draft time, so can't really explain it too too much. But yes, there's this. So there you guys go. There is the inventory on the WWE, WWF, TNA. That's about it right there. So yeah, this was only part one. You can check out part two's video that I'm about to go ahead and make. So please, if you would, if you guys have any questions, just remember that these wrestlers are not for sale at all. So I am not giving none of these away. But if you guys have any requests on any videos that you would like for me to do, please do not hesitate to put them in the comment section. And do not forget to hashtag SymbioteAddiction22 in the comments section. And don't forget to web sling and hit that like button. Please do not forget to hit that like button. And, you know, watch this as many times as you like. I mean, I've really showed you guys all the wrestlers that I have right at this very moment. You know, all the wrestlers I have. So, there is that. And part two shall be coming up here. Here in a moment. Alrighty. Simeon Addiction 22 signing out. Curtis G. Leaving. Catch y'all guys later. See ya. Are you serious?